Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400 interview question and answer. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. The question is, how would you manage dependencies and version control when deploying power platform solutions across multiple environments? Your answer should be, managing dependencies and version control when deploying power platform solution involves creating solution packages and encapsulate all required components and configurations. I would use environment variables and solution segmentation to handle environment specific settings and configurations. Leveraging source control systems like Azure DevOps or GitHub can facilitate version control and collaboration among team members. Additionally, implementing release pipelines and automated deployment processes can ensure consistent and reliable deployments across different environments while minimizing manual errors. Our next question is, what role does Power Automate play in integrating Power Platform solutions with external systems? And how would you handle complex data transformation within a workflow? Your answer should be, Power Automate serves as powerful tool for automating workflows and integrating power platform solutions with external systems. To handle complex data transformation within a workflow, I would leverage Power Automate built-in data operations and transformation actions such as parse JSON, compose and apply to each. Additionally, I must use, I might use custom expressions and functions to manipulate data structure implement conditional logic and handle error scenarios, ensuring data consistency and accuracy throughout the processes. Our next question is, discuss the limitations of using Canvas app versus model-driven apps in a Power App development. Your answer should be, Canvas app offers flexibility and customization by allowing developers to design the user interface from scratch using drag and drop controls and expressions. They are either for scenarios where custom UI design and interactivity is paramount. On the other hand, model-driven apps provide a structured framework based on common data services, CDS, offering standardized data models, business logic and security features out of the box. They are well suited for scenarios where data driven applications are standardized, UI and business processes are required, while Canvas apps offers more flexibility in UI design. Model driven apps provide a more structured and scalable approach for enterprise grade applications. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, how would you ensure data privacy and compliance with regulatory requirements such as GDPR or HIPAA when designing and implementing Power Platform solution? Your answer should be, to ensure data privacy and compliance with regulatory requirements, I would implement appropriate security measures and data protection mechanisms within the Power Platform solutions. This include leveraging role-based access control, RBAC, data encryption and data loss prevention, DLP policies to protect sensitive data from unauthorized access or disclosure. Additionally, I would conduct privacy impact assessment, PIAS, and compliance audits to identify and mitigate potential risk and ensure adherence to regulatory standards. 
collaborating with legal and compliance team to establish data governance policies and protocols can further reinforce data privacy and compliance efforts. Our next question is how would you approach designing a Power BI dashboards to effectively visualize and communicate key insights from complex data sets? Your answer should be your answer should be to design an effective Power BI dashboards I would start by identifying the key metrics and insights that stakeholders need to monitor and analyze then I would select appropriate visualizations such as charts, graphs and KPIs to represent the data in a clear and concise manner utilizing features like drill round, filters and slicers can provide interactivity and flexibility for users to explore the data further. Additionally, I would focus on visual aesthetics, layout and storytelling to ensure the dashboards in engaging is engaging and easy to understand for the target audience. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400 Interview Question and Answer If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answer, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. Our question is, how does Power Platform support integration with external systems and services? Your answer should be, Power Platform supports integration with external systems and services through connectors which provide pre-built integration points for connecting to a wide range of data sources and APIs. Connectors allows users to interact with external systems seamlessly from within Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, enabling data exchange, process automation and real-time communication with external services. Our next question is, what are the benefits of using Power Platform alongside Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365? Your answer should be, integrating Power Platform with Microsoft 365 and Dynamics 365 enables organizations to <coughs> leverage the power, full power of the Microsoft ecosystem and create end-to-end -end solutions for productivity collaboration and business processes automation by combining Power Platform's low-code, no-code capabilities with the rich functionality of Microsoft 365 applications such as SharePoint, Teams and Outlook and Dynamic 365 business applications organizations can streamline processes, improve data visibility and enhance employees productivity. Our next question is, explain the concept of governance in the context of Power Platform development and deployment. Your answer should be, governance in Power Platform refers to the set of policies, processes and controls implemented by organizations to ensure that Power Platform resources are used securely, efficiently and in accordance with organizational standards and compliance requirements. Government, governance encompasses areas such as access control, data security, environment management, solution lifecycle management, and monitoring and auditing of usage and activities. Our next question is, how can Power Platform applications be extended and customized using code? Your answer should be, Power Platform applications can be extended and customized using code through various extensibility options such as custom connectors, 
custom control custom apis using azure functions or custom web services and custom components for power apps these extensibility options allows developers to integrate with external systems implement custom business logic enhance user interface capabilities and extend the functionality of power platform applications to meet specific business requirements if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe our next question is what are the some best practices for performance optimization and scalability of power platform solutions your answer should be some best practices for performance optimization and scalability of power platform solutions include optimizing data queries and filtering to minimize data retrieval <coughs> using delegation of large data sets in power apps minimizing the number of connectors and actions in power automate workflows leveraging caching and data flows for data processing and transformation and optimizing power bi reports and dashboards for efficient data visualization and rendering our next question is how does power platform ensure data security and compliance with regulatory requirements your answer should be power platform provides several features to ensure data security and compliance including role based access control rbac data loss prevention dlp policies encryption at rest and in transit compliance certifications such as iso soc gdpr and audit logging and monitoring organizations can use these features to enforce access controls protect sensitive data and maintain compliance with regulatory requirements to find the complete list of valid tried tested and updated question and answers you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description thank you hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are discussing question and answers for microsoft power platform developer associate pl400 interview question and answers if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe you can download the complete list of valid tried tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description wishing you all the very best our question is discuss the role of power bi embed in embedding power bi reports and dashboards into custom applications your answer should be power bi embed tools allows developers to embed power bi reports dashboards and tiles into custom applications using apis and sdks this enables organizations to deliver rich analytics capabilities directly within their applications without requiring users to have separate power bi licenses power bi embed supports embedding into web applications mobile apps and custom portals providing flexible integration options and meet diverse business needs our next question is how does power platform integrate with azure services what are some scenarios where this integration is beneficial your answer should be power platform integrates with various azure services such as azure functions azure logic apps azure cognitive services and azure active directory to extend its capabilities and enhance solution functionality some scenarios where the integration is beneficial includes integrating with azure functions for custom business logic and data processing using azure logic apps for orchestrating complex workflows and integrating with external systems leveraging azure cognitive services for ai driven capabilities such as natural language processing and lp and customer vision integrating with azure active directory
to for identify and access management iam and single sign on sso capabilities our next question is what are power apps pcf control and how do they enable custom ui development within power apps your answer should be power apps pcf power apps component framework controls allows developers to build custom ui controls using standard web technologies such as html css and javascript and embed them within power apps canvas apps or model driven apps pcf controls enables developers to extend the capabilities of power apps by adding custom functionality interactivity and visualizations that are not available out of the box PCF controls can be reused across multiple apps and shared with broader apps community. Our next question is, explain the concept of Power Platform Center of Excellence COE and its role in driving governance and best practices. Your answer should be, the Power Platform Center of Excellence PCE is a governance strategy and organizational framework that helps to drive adoption, governance, and best practices for power platform within any organizations. The COE typically consists of multidisciplinary team responsible for establishing governance policies, providing guidance and training, promoting best practices, and overseeing the implementation and adoption of power platform solutions. The COE plays a critical role in Ensuring the Power Platform initiative align with organizational goals, adhere to standards and compliance requirements, and deliver value to the business. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested, and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. The question is, what are Power Platform Solution Layers? How do they facilitate solution development and management? Your answer should be, Power Platform Solution Layers represent different components and artifacts within a solution including entities, field, views, forms, workflows, and more. Solution layers allows developers to organize and modularize their solution components into logical groups, making it easier to manage and maintain complex solutions. Additionally, solution layers support versioning and dependency management, enabling developers to track changes and deploy updates efficiently. Our next question is, explain the concept of Canvas components in Power Apps, how they enhance app development. Your answer should be, Canvas components in Power Apps are reusable building blocks that encapsulate a set of controls, logic, and styling within a single component. They allow developers to create custom UI elements and functionality that can be reused across multiple scenes and apps, <coughs> promoting consistency and efficiency in app development. Canvas components can be shared with other developers and imported into different apps, making it easy to standardize UI components and streamline app development. Our next question is, how does Power Platform support mobile app development and deployment? Your answer should be, Power Platform provides native support for mobile app development and deployment through Power Apps. 
developers can create responsive and adaptive canvas apps or model driven apps that are optimized for mobile devices and can be deployed to iOS, Android and Windows platforms. Power apps also provide features such as offline support, device capabilities integration, and mobile specific layouts to enhance the mobile app user experience. Our next question is, what are the some considerations for designing and implementing Power BI reports and dashboards for optimal performance? Your answer should be, when designing and implementing Power BI reports and dashboards, it is important to consider factors such as data model optimization, query performance, visualization design, data refresh frequency, and distribution and sharing methods, optimizing data models, minimizing data volume and complexity, using efficient DAX calculations, and Optimizing visualizations for performance can help to ensure that Power BI reports and dashboards deliver fast and responsive user experiences. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, what are the some common challenges you can encounter when building Power Platform solutions? How would you address them? The answer should be, some common challenges when building Power Platform solutions include managing complex data transformation, handling large data sets, optimizing app performance, addressing security and compliance requirements, and ensuring user adoption and engagement. To address these challenges, it is important to follow best practices, leverage built-in capabilities, and features of the Power Platform, collaborate with stakeholders to understand requirements and continuously iterate and improve solutions based on feedback and lessons learned. Our next question is, discuss the importance of user accessibility and inclusivity in Power Platform app design. Your answer should be, User accessibility and inclusivity are essential considerations in Power Platform app design to ensure that applications are usable by all users including those with disabilities or diverse needs. Designing accessible apps involves using inclusive design principles, providing alternative text for images, ensuring keyboard navigation support, using high contrast colors and readable fonts, and testing apps and assistive technologies. By prioritizing accessibility, organizations can create more inclusive and user-friendly experiences for all users. Our next question is, how can Power Platform solutions be integrated with custom business applications and legacy systems? Your answer should be, Power Platform solutions can be integrated with custom business applications and legacy systems using various integration techniques such as custom connectors, HTTP actions, Azure functions, Azure logic apps, and custom APIs. By building integration with custom business applications and legacy systems, organizations can leverage the capabilities of the Power Platform to extend and modernize existing systems, streamline business processes, and unblock data silos for better insights and decision making. You can download the complete list of valid tried, tested, and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400. If you find this content helpful, Please like, comment and subscribe.
you can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. The question is, discuss the role of Power Automate in streamlining business processes and improving productivity within an organization. Your answer should be, Power Automate automates repetitive tasks and processes, reducing manual efforts and errors. It integrates with various services and applications, allowing seamless data exchange and workflow automation. Power Automate offers a wide range of pre-built templates and connectors, enabling quick implementation and common automation scenarios. By automating routine tasks, Power Automate frees up time for employees to focus on more strategic and value-added activities. Our next question is, how would you handle a scenario where the Power App solution needs to be scaled to automate a growing user base or increase data volume? Your answer should be, Optimize app performance by minimizing the use of complex formulas and controls. Utilize delegation to offload data processing to the data source. Consider priori partitioning data or implementing data archiving strategies to manage large volumes of data. Monitor app usage and performance regularly and scale infrastructure resources needed to ensure optimal performance. Our next question is, how would you approach designing user interfaces for power apps to ensure optimal user experience across different devices and screen sizes? Your answer should be, utilize responsive design principle to ensure adaptability to various screen sizes, prioritize simplicity and clarity in UI design to enhance usability, test the app on different devices and screen resolution to ensure consistent performance, leverage built-in controls and layout that automatically adjust based on screen size. Our next question is, Discuss the benefits of using Power BI Embed for embedding reports and dashboards into custom applications. Your answer should be, Power BI Embed allows for seamless integration of interactive reports and dashboards directly into custom applications. It provides flexibility in terms of customization, allowing developers to tailor the embed reports to match the application's branding and user interface. Power BI Embed supports embedding in web, mobile, and desktop application, providing a consistent user experience across different platforms. With Power BI Embed, organizations can leverage the power of Power BI for data visualization and analysis without recoiling users to have a separate Power BI license. Our next question is, how would you ensure data security and compliance when integrating Power Platform solution with external system or services? Your answer should be, implement secure authentication mechanisms such as OAuth or API keys to authenticate users and ensure secure communication between systems. Encrypt sensitive data both at rest and in transit to protect it from unauthorized access. Implement data loss prevention DLP policies to prevent the unauthorized sharing of sensitive information. Regularly audit and monitor data access and usage to detect and mitigate any security vulnerabilities or compliance risks. If you find this content helpful, Please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate. PL400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe.
to find the complete list of question and answer you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description the question is what are the some best practices for testing and quality assurance of power platform solutions your answer should be some best practices for testing quality assurance of power platform solutions include implementing automated testing for app functionality and performance conducting user acceptance testing uat to validate requirements and usability performing security and compliance testing to ensure data protection and regulatory compliance and leveraging monitoring and analytics capabilities to track usage and identify issues proactively additionally incorporating feedback from stakeholders and end users throughout the development life cycles can help to ensure that solution meets business needs and user expectations our next question is explain the concept of power apps portals and how organizations can leverage them to engage with external user your answer should be power apps portal allows organization to create website to create websites that external users can access to interact with data stored in common data services and other data sources these portals can be used for various purposes such as customer self service portals partner portals community forums and event registration portals power apps portals provide customizable templates authentication options and integration capabilities enabling organizations to deliver personalized and engaging experiences to external users our next question is discuss the benefits of using the common data service cds as a data storage and management platform within the power platform ecosystem your answer should be the common data service cds provides a unified and scalable data platform that allows organization to store and manage business data used by power platform applications some benefits of using cds include standardized data schema cds provides a standardized cds provides a standardized data schema with built in entities and relationships making it easier to model and manage business data integration with power platform cds seamlessly integrates with power apps power automate and power bi enabling organizations to build end to end solutions for app development workflow automation and data analytics security and compliance cds offers robust security features such as role based access control rbac uh, data loss prevention dlp policies and encryption helping organizations to protect sensitive data and maintain compliance with regulatory requirements extensibility cds supports customizations and extensions through solution plugins and custom code allowing organizations to tailor the data model and business logic to meet specific requirements if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe the question is how can power platform solutions be deployed and managed across different environments and life cycle stages your answer should be power platform solutions can be deployed and managed across different environments and life cycle stages using various tools and techniques such as solution packing solutions encapsulate a set of components and configurations that can be exported from one environment and imported into another enabling consistent deployment and versioning environment management power platform environment provides isolated spaces for development testing and production workloads allowing organizations to manage 
solution life cycle and dependencies alm tools organizations can use application life cycle management alm tools such as power platform build tools power platform cli and azure devops pipelines to automate deployment process enforce governance policies and track changes across environments release management implementing release management practices such as release pipelines approvals and deployment gates can help to ensure that solutions are deployed successfully and meet quality standards before being promoted to production environments you can download the complete list of valid tried tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description wishing you all the very best thank you hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are discussing interview question and answers for microsoft power platform developer associate pl400 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe you can download the complete list of valid tried tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description the question is how would you handle a scenario where the power platform solutions need to integrate with an external api or service your answer should be to integrate a power platform solution with an external api or service i would first identify the requirements and endpoints of the api then i would leverage power automate to create a custom connector or use the http actions to make rest api calls alternatively i might utilize azure logic apps for more complex integration ensuring secure authentication and error handling throughout the processes our next question is can you explain the process of troubleshooting performance issues in a power platform application your answer should be the troubleshoot performance issues the question is can you explain the process of troubleshooting performance issues in a power platform application the answer should be to troubleshoot performance issues in power platform application i would start by identifying the specific areas experiencing slowdowns such as data retrieval processing or rendering i would then analyze the app's design data sources and formulas to identify potential bottlenecks utilizing tools like performance analyzer in power apps or monitoring tools in power bi can provide insights into resource usage and help to optimize the app's performance additionally reviewing connector configurations delegable functions and data caching strategies can further improve performance our next question is how do you ensure data consistency and integrity when working with large data sets in power platform solutions your answer should be to ensure data consistency and integrity with large data sets i would leverage features like transactions and error handling within power automate workflow or azure functions to batch and process data in smaller chunks utilizing data validation rules and constraints in a common data service cds or external database and can also enforce data integrity additionally implementing proper error logging and retry mechanism can help to mitigate data inconsistencies caused by network issues or transient errors our next question is what strategies would you employ to optimize user adoption and engagement with power platform solution within an organization your answer should be to optimize user adoption and engagement i would focus on user centric design principles 
providing intrusive interfaces and personalized experiences tailored to users' roles and preferences. I would also conduct thorough training sessions and provide ongoing support to ensure users are familiar with solutions capabilities and benefits, leveraging feedback mechanisms such as user surveys or other groups can help to gather insights from continuous environment. Additionally, recognizing and rewarding users for their contributions and achievement can incentivize adoption and promote culture of innovation. Our next question is, how would you approach designing the Power App solution for mobile devices with limited screen real estate. Your answer should be, when designing a power app solution for mobile devices, I would prioritize simplicity and usability by focusing on essential functionality and minimizing clutter, utilizing responsive design techniques such as adaptive layouts and flexible control can ensure the apps adapt well to different screen sizes and orientations. Additionally, leveraging native device capabilities like touch gestures and device sensors can enhance the user experience and make the app feel more intrusive and natural on mobile devices. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, can you discuss the importance of accessibility considerations in Power Platform app development? Your answer should be, accessibility considerations are crucial in Power Platform app development to ensure the applications are usable by all users including those with disabilities or diverse needs. Incorporating accessibility features such as keyboard navigation, screen reader, compatibility, and high contrast mode can make up the app accessible to a wider audience and comply with accessibility standards like WCAG, prioritizing inclusive design principles and conducting accessibility testing with users of diverse abilities can help to identify and address accessibility barriers effectively. If you are preparing for any certification, you can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested, and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400 Interview Question and Answer If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. The question is Discuss the advantages and challenges of using Power Virtual Agents for building chat boards to automate customer support interactions. Your answer should be, Power Visual Agents offer several advantages for building chat boards including no code low code interface, allows business users to create and maintain chat boards without requiring extensive programming language. Integration with Power Platform Seamlessly integrates with other Power Platform components like Power Apps and Power Automate for extended functionality. Built-in AI capabilities Offers built-in natural language processing and LP and pre-built AI models for handling common conversational scenarios. However, challenges may include Limited customization may not support highly specialized or complex use cases that require custom model or advanced AI capability. Scalability may face limitations in handling large volumes of concurrent users 
for complex conversation flows. Integration with external systems may, need, may require additional development efforts for custom connectors to integrate with external data sources or services. Our next question is how would you ensure data accuracy and reliability when building power platform solutions that rely on data from multiple sources? Your answer should be to ensure data accuracy and reliability in power platform solutions, I would implement the following best practices. Data validation. Implement validation rules and constraints to ensure data integrity and consistency. Data cleansing. Perform data cleansing and normalization to remove duplicates, errors and inconsistency. Data synchronization. Establish automated data synchronization process to keep data in a sync across multiple sources. Error handling. Implement error handling mechanism to detect and handle data integration errors proactively. Data quality monitoring. Continuously monitor data quality metrics and KPIs to identify address issues in real time. Our next question is, how would you approach optimizing the performance of Power Apps Canvas app with large data sets? Your answer should be, to optimize the performance of Power Apps Canvas app with large data sets, I would implement delegation. Use delegation to push data processing operations in the data source whenever possible, reducing the amount of data transferred to the app. Use control efficiently. Minimize the number of controls and formulas on screen and use controls like gallery or data table with virtualization. Enabled for efficient data rendering. Implement pagination. Implement pagination techniques to load and display data in smaller chunks improving app responsiveness. Cache data. Cache frequently access data locally using collections or variables to reduce data retrieval latency. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400. <coughs> if you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. The question is, what is the power platform and what are its core components? Your answer should be, a power platform is a suite of tools from Microsoft designed to empower users to create custom applications, automate workflows and analyze data. Its core components include Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI and Power Virtual Agents. Our next question is, can you explain the role of Power Apps in Power Platform? Your answer should be, Power Apps is a low-code, no-code application development platform that allows users to create custom business applications without writing traditional code. It offers drag and drop interface for building apps and integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft services like SharePoint and Dynamic 365. Our next question is, what is the Power Automate and how does it fit into Power Platform ecosystem? Your answer should be, Power Automate is a workflow automation tool that allows users to create automated workflows between their favorite apps and services to synchronize files, get notifications, collect data, and more. 
It integrates with over 300 services and applications, including Microsoft 365, Dynamic 365, and Azure. Our next question is, how does Power BI contribute to the Power Platform? Your answer should be, Power BI is a business analytics tool that allows users to visualize and analyze data from variety of sources. It enables users to create interactive reports and dashboards to gain insights into their data, making data-driven decisions. Power BI integrates seamlessly with other Power Platform components to provide end-to-end -end business intelligence solutions. Our next question is, what is the Canvas app and how does it differ from modern driven app in Power Apps? Your answer should be, a Canvas app in Power Apps allows users to design custom applications with blank canvas where they can drag and drop elements like buttons, textbooks and galleries to create their user interface. On the other hand, Model Driven App is built on top of the common data services CDS to provide standardized user interface based on data models and business processes defined by CDS. Our next question is, how do you secure Power Platform applications and data? Your answer should be, Power Platform offers various security features such as role-based access control, RBAC, data loss prevention, DLP policies, and environment isolation. RBAC allows administrators to control access to resources based on users' role, while DLP policies helps to prevent the unauthorized sharing of sensitive data. Environment isolations ensure that apps and data are kept separate to maintain security and compliance. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, can you explain the concept of connectors in Power Platform? Your answer should be, Connectors in Power Platform are pre-built integration points that allows users to connect to and interact with external services and data sources. They provide a way to access data from various systems without writing custom code, enabling users to create seamless experience across different applications and services. To find the complete list of valid, tried, and tested question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, what are the benefits and limitations of using AI Builder in Power Platform Solutions? Your answer should be, benefits, no code, low code AI capabilities, integration with Power Platform, pre-built AI models, limitations, limited customization, performance constraints, compliance considerations for sensitive data. Our next question is, how would you design Power Automate workflow for automating a multi-step approval process? Your answer should be, define triggers for initiation, such as when a new item is created, Implement multiple approval stages with assigned approvers. Use conditional branching to handle approval outcomes. Include error handling mechanism to manage exceptions or errors. Our next question is, how would you approach designing a Power BI report to effectively communicate insights for complex data sets? Your answer should be, Identify key metrics and insights relevant to stakeholders. 
choose appropriate visualizations such as charts, graphs, and maps. Utilize features like drill down, filters, and bookmarks for interactivity. Focus on clear labeling, color choices, and layout for readability and understanding. Our next question is, discuss the benefits and challenges of using Power Virtual Agents to build chart boards for customer service automation. Your answer should be, benefits include no code, low code AI capabilities and integration with Power Platform. Challenges may include limitation in customization and complexity handling, specialized use cases, consideration for compliance with data privacy regulation when handling customer data. Our next question is, how would you ensure data accuracy and reliability in Power Platform solution that rely on data from multiple sources? Your answer should be, implement data validation rules and constraints to maintain data integrity, perform data cleansing and normalization to remove inconsistencies and errors, establish automated data synchronization process to ensure consistency across sources, implement error handling mechanism to detect and address integration errors proactively. Our next question is, how would you ensure data privacy and compliance when building power platform solutions and handle sensitive information? Your answer should be, implement role-based access control, RBAC, to restrict access to sensitive data, Utilize data loss prevention, DLP policies to prevent unauthorized data sharing. Encrypt data at rest in transit to protect it from unauthorized access. Ensure compliance with relevant regulations such as GDPR, HIPAA or SOC. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested, and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400 Interview Question and Answers. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. Our question is, explain the difference between Canvas apps and model driven apps in terms of their architecture and use cases. Your answer should be, Canvas has apps provide a blank canvas for designing custom user interfaces using drag and drop, uh, drop controls and are ideal for scenarios where users need complete control over the app's design and functionality. Model driven apps on the other hand are built on top of common data services and provides a standardized user interface based on data models and business processes, making them suitable for scenarios where data-driven applications with standardized UI are required. Our next question is, what are Power Apps components and how do they facilitate reusability and maintainability of apps? Your answer should be, Power Apps components are self-contained building blocks that encapsulate a set of functionality or UI elements and can be reused across multiple apps. They help to improve app development pr productivity by promoting reusability and maintainability of common elements such as controls, screens or logic. Changes made to a component are automatically reflected in all apps where it is used simplifying maintenance and updates. Our next question is, how can Power Automate be used to automate business processes involving multiple applications and services? 
your answer should be power automate enables users to create automated workflows that connect various applications and services to streamline business processes by using triggers and actions users can define the sequence of steps required to perform ta tasks such as data synchronization notification approvals and data processing across different systems power automate also supports conditional logic apps loops and error handling to create robust and flexible workflows our next question is discuss the role of power bi in providing actionable insights from data and driving business decision making your answer should be power bi enables organizations to transform raw data into visually compelling reports and dashboards that provide actionable insights into key performance indicator trends and patterns by connecting to multiple data sources creating interactive visualizations and applying advanced analytics techniques power bi help users to uncover hidden insights identify opportunities and make data driven decisions that drive business success our next question is how can power virtual agents be used to create intelligent chatbots and automate customer interaction your answer should be power virtual agents allows users to build intelligent chatbots using a no code interface that leverages natural language processing nlp capabilities Chatbots can be designed to handle common customer inquiries, provide personalized recommendations, automate tasks and escalate complex issues to human agents when necessary. By integrating with other power platform components and external systems, Power Virtual Agents enables organization to deliver personalized and efficient customer experiences. If you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of valid tried tested and updated question and answers you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description thank you hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400 If you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description do share please our next question is what are some common data sources that power platform connectors can connect to your answer should be power platform connectors can connect to wide range of data sources including microsoft 365 such as sharepoint excel and outlook dynamics 365 azure services such as azure sql database and azure blob storage salesforce sql server and many others additionally custom connectors can be built to connect to proprietary or custom data sources our next question is what are the common data services cds and how does it integrate with power platform your answer should be the common data services cds is a secure and scalable data platform that allows users to store and manage business data used by power platform applications it provides a standardized data schema and enables seamless integration between power apps power automate and power bi cds also supports data modeling business logic and security features our next question explain the concept of environments in power platform and their significance your answer should be Environments in Power Platform provide isolated spaces for organizations to develop, test, and deploy their applications and solutions. Each environment contains its own set of resources, 
such as apps, flows and data sources and can have its own security policies and settings. Environments help organizations manage the life cycle of their power platform assets and maintain separation between different projects or departments. If you are find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. Our next question is, how can Power Platform solution be version controlled and deployed across different environments? Your answer should be, Power Platform solutions can be exported as a package file which contains all the components of the solution including apps, flows, connections and data model definitions. These package files can then be version controlled using source control systems like GIT to deploy solutions across different environments. Organizations can use tools like Power Platform Build Tools, Power Platform CLI or Azure DevOps Pipelines for automated deployment. Our next question is, what are Power Platform data flows and how do they enhance data integration and transformation capabilities? Your answer should be, Power Platform Data Flows allows users to create ETL, extract, transform, load processes to ingest, transform and load data from various sources into common data service or other destinations. Data Flows provide a visual interface for defining data transformation using Power Query, enabling users to clean, enrich and combine data from multiple sources before storing it in a unified data model. Our next question is, how does Power Apps Portal extend the functionality of Power Apps for external users? Your answer should be, Power Apps Portal allows organizations to create external facing websites that enable interaction with data stored in a common data service or other data sources using Power Apps. It provides capabilities for building self-service portal, customer service portal, and partner portals enabling organization to engage with customers, partners, and external stakeholders more effectively. To find the complete list of valid, tried, and tested question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing interview question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer Associate PL400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid tried, tested, and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. The question is, discuss the benefits and limitation of using AI Builder in Power Platform solutions. Your answer should be, AI Builder in Power Platform offers several benefits including no-code, low-code capabilities allows users to build and deploy AI models without requiring extensive data science or programming interface. Integration with Power Platform seamlessly integrates with Power Apps and Power Automate for adding AI capabilities to business processes and applications. Pre-built AI model offers a pre-built AI models for common scenarios like object detection, sentiment analysis and prediction, reducing development time and efforts. However, limitations may include limited customizations. AI Builder may not support highly specialized or complex AI models that requires custom training data or algorithm. Performance constraints. AI Builder may have performance limitations for processing large volume of data or handling complex AI tasks. Data privacy and compliance. 
Users need to ensure compliance with data privacy regulations when using AI Builder, especially for sensitive or regulated data. Our next question is, how would you design Power Automate workflow to automate a multi-step approval process for expense reimbursements? Your answer should be, to design Power Automate workflow for a multi-step approval process for expense reimbursements, I would define triggers. Use triggers like when a new item is created to initiate a workflow, when a new expense reimbursement request is submitted. Implement approval stages. Create multiple approval stages with assigned approvers using actions like start and wait for an approval within apply to each loop. Handle approval outcomes. Use conditional branching to handle different approval outcomes, approved, rejected or pending and trigger corresponding actions like sending notification or updating the status of the reimbursement requ request. Error handling. Implement error handling mechanism to handle exceptions or errors during the approval process and notify stakeholders to escalate issues as needed. Our next question is, discuss the importance of accessibility considerations in Power Platform app development. Your answer should be, accessibility ensures the applications are usable by all users, including those with disabilities. Incorporate features like keyboard navigation, screen reader compatibility and high contrast modes. Conduct accessibility testing with users of diverse abilities for identification and resolution of barriers. Prioritize inclusive design principles for a more inclusive and user-friendly experience. Our next question is, how would you optimize Power Apps Canvas app for performance when dealing with large data sets? Your answer should be, Implement delegation to push data operations to a data source. Minimize the use of controls and formulas on screen. Implement pagination to load and display data in smaller chunks. Cache frequently access data locally using collections or variables. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. You can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested and updated question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.